Question 48. A data protection technologist for Hasland LLC has recently deployed Beam 1 and has been tasked with forecasting the amount and type of alarms the company should expect for a specific infrastructure object. How could this be achieved? Let's take a closer look. In Beam 1 Monitor, navigate to Alarm Management in the Actions pane, click New, select the Forecasting option and complete the wizard. I mean, I like the sound of this, it, it, it sounds realistic. In Beam 1 Reporter, navigate to the Data Protection section, select Alarms, Modeling, select the Infrastructure Object, select Use Data from the Past and click Start Modeling. Tempting, tempting, but uh, I'm not sure if this is really going to be in the Meme 1 Reporter tool or if it's going to be in the Meme 1 Monitor part, but um, regardless, this uh, navigation here sounds like it's in Meme 1 Monitor, not Meme 1 Reporter. So let's let's ignore this one for now. In Meme 1 Monitor, select Modeling from the Toolbar, select the Infrastructure Object, select Use Data uh, for the past, select Desired Alarms, and then click Start Modeling. That sounds uh, more likely. Uh, open a feature request on forums that can come and hope this is implemented before anyone follows up on this task. That would assume that the forecasting is not uh, an option, so we could go and investigate, but I, I hope this is not the right answer. In Beam 1 Reporter, navigate to the Dashboard section, click Add New Dashboard. Once created, edit the new dashboard and add the forecasting widget of the appropriate scope. So maybe we should go and take a look here. Maybe one forecasting. And let's see here. Uh, maybe we should even add in alarm forecasting. So we have some about uh, alarms here. And um, yeah, so I, I, I guess uh, there might be some stuff here. Advanced alarm options, how alarms work. So this is a little bit specific. Maybe go to the monitor user guide instead. Let's see here, what if we search for forecasts? Or uh, if we go back and take a look here uh, at some of the answer options, we could even maybe guess a little bit. So for example, here it says go to alarm management, actions pane new. So yeah, actually this sounds a lot like making a, a new alarm to be completely honest. But uh, if we take a look here, it says uh, select modeling. So modeling could be a, a search word here. And uh, was that with one or two L's? Let's take a look. It was with one, according to this. Toolbar, okay. Let's see, we do have uh, something called modeling. Forecast the number of alarms that will be triggered for an infrastructure object. Okay, so let's see this section here. So it tells us to open Beam 1 monitor. So if we go in Beam 1 monitor, okay. Uh, let's go here. Then it says on the toolbar, click modeling. Select modeling from the toolbar. Yeah, that, that seems to match. Okay, uh, yeah, select, choose the necessary type of infrastructure component. Yeah, then we select this and use data for the past list. Okay, and then uh, that's what we have right here. Select the side alarms and then click start modeling. Let's see here. Yeah, yeah. So. This is actually what we can see it looks like. And so this really does appear to be the correct answer.